the HP ZCaptes video learning series. For more information, sign up using this QR code or follow the link in the description below. The HP ZCaptes will arrive in a single 100 pound package on a pallet. Please prepare your facilities or shipping logistics teams for its arrival. Let's take a look at what is in the box. The capture comb, the studio base, the explorer ring, the accessory box. Now let's unbox your HP Z-Captis. Once the box is removed from the pallet, remove the tamper sticker and unclip the black locking mechanisms from both sides of the box. Slip the top outer box to reveal two inner boxes. The top inner box contains the studio base. Place it off to the side for later. Remove the bottom of the outer box to access the capture cone box's black locking mechanism. Remove the tamper sticker and unclip the black locking mechanisms on both sides of the capture cone box. Slip the top box to reveal the explorer ring and the accessory box. Put the accessory box, explorer ring, molded fiber form and foam form off to the side for later, exposing the capture cone. Remove the protective textile covers to access to the capture cone handle. Grip with two hands and take great care with the capture cone. It weighs over 35 pounds. That is what is inside the box. Now let's take a closer look at the HP Z Captis capture cone. First, remove the protective plastic film from the capture cone. On the front of the capture cone, you will find an alignment line to assist you in positioning on the studio base or explorer ring. In the top recess of the capture cone, you will find two standard quarter 20 threaded mounts for attachment, as well as the vents for airflow. On the reverse side of the capture cone, there is a USB type C for data set offload only, no charging or control. The power button with a surrounding LED ring and below four LED battery indicator lights. Carefully turn over the capture cone and let's take a look underneath. Remove the plastic protective covers from the bottom surface of the capture cone. Notice the pogo pin mechanisms and alignment features. These ensure proper placement of the capture cone on the explorer ring or studio base. Remove the lens cap from in front of the camera sensor and polarizer glass. Attach the lens cap to the holder inside of the capture cone. Keep in mind, that if the camera preview is black once inside of Adobe Substance 3D Sampler, ensure that the lens cap has been removed. Notice these two Phillips head screws. Remove these to gain access to the user upgradable M.2 storage drive bay. The capture cone has 850 watt polarized lamps in the photometric volume, delivering up to 3500 lux at the capture plane with a color rendering index of greater than 90. Avoid touching the surface of the lamps film, as it may negatively impact your capture quality. The HP Z Captis Capture Cone is an edge computer and contains the NVIDIA Jetson AGX running the Captis OS. Treat it with great care. Now let's examine the Explorer ring. Please note Explorer mode setup is not covered in this video. Remove the protective textile cover from the Explorer ring. These are corresponding pogo pin mechanisms and alignment features to attach to the capture cone. On the bottom side of the Explore ring, you will find four standard threaded quarter 20 mounts for attaching monopods. Additionally, there are three D-ring attachment screws to secure the Explorer ring to the capture cone. Please note, these are optional and magnets provide enough force for attachment. Lastly, take a look at the rear inset recess, which includes a USB type C for communication and control, an LED power indicator light, and a barrel plug for power. Now let's look inside the accessory box, the fixturing magnet box, the user documentation, the technical areas, power supply and localized power plug, and the USB type A to type C cable. This is the contents of the accessory box. Finally, let's examine the studio base. Cut the tape and flip the studio base box open. Remove the molded fiber cover. Remove the protective shroud from the studio base. Pogo pin mechanisms provide communication from the studio base to the capture cone. Alignment features ensure proper placement of the capture cone on the studio base. 
Four laser etched fiducial marks for camera alignment, calibration and diagnostics. Four quarter twenty threaded mounts for fixturing. A polarised backlight for transmissive and opacity illumination. Remove the spacer insert under the sample tray, as well as the rubber stopper on the latching mechanism. You can keep the backlight clear with standard screen and glass cleaning products. Remove the plastic film from the polarisation targets on the technical areas and place into the inset recesses on the studio base. Now place the capture cone onto the studio base, being sure to match the alignment line on the capture cone to the corresponding line on the studio base for smooth attachment. Take the barrel plug connector and insert it into the rear recess of the studio base for power. Do the same with the USB Type-C connector for control and communication with the HPZ captives. The USB Type-A side of the connector can now be placed into a port on the host PC. A one second button press will power on the device and a five second button press will shut it down. That is it. You are now ready to capture all the world's materials with the HPZ Captis and Adobe Substance 3D Sampler.